a symbol of sacrifice, lives at Fort Snelling National Cemetery. And this Memorial Day weekend. I got a lot to do in 11 days. No pressure. Yeah, a lot of fundraising. A symbol of love will be on the line. Volunteers with flags for Fort Snelling and the community will again attempt to place a flag on every grave. We lost over 60,000 flags last year to damage because of the weather and uh, mishandling, and we just can't afford to do that every year if this tradition is going to survive. I am Rocky Borchard, a co-founder of Flags for Fort Snelling. And life, right now, is a lot. A little bit, Rocky, yeah. Like her name. I've been thrown a curveball ball with uh, stage four ovarian cancer. Um, and I just went through my first round of treatments. I don't want my illness to slow anything down. That means securing a tradition for years to come. We have to replace the flags. The, the ones that we're using right now are only going to last a year or two each. The flag is in there on a fork, so this is actually replaceable. Um, and it pulls out while undergoing chemo and retracts just as simply Rocky worked on a solution. And this was actually delivered while I was in chemo. Totally made my day that day. Drive that down. There we go. Tuesday, the only time she smiled. I can't, yeah, well, it's, <laughs> I am, I'm very excited about it. Is when she showed off this new flag. I did invent this. It'll be locally made here in Minnesota, manufactured. The project manager that I've been working with, Jeremy at Steinwall, is, uh, he's a veteran himself. It solves so many problems for us. I mean, more than people realize. I mean, it just, it, so yes, we're very excited to get these going. A labor of love she hopes will leave a lasting legacy. I would love to see this flagstaff in every national cemetery across the world. We need a hand. We need more community getting involved with us to really make this uh, a tradition that is that stays around for generations. And the flags for Fort Snelling Telethon wrapped up within the last half hour. If you joined us at 6, you saw some of the video from that. The money raised will replace flags damaged or lost from last year. And the new retractable flags, which uh, Rocky says will last decades, only cost about $3. Yeah, and I feel like, I mean, first of all, thank you to Rocky for continuing to do this when she certainly doesn't need to and has other things to worry about. So. I mean, what a hero she is. And if we could all pitch in, we saw this last year and we got there. So if we could do it again, that'd be pretty great.